Apple's preliminary stats paint a pretty picture for the iPhone 7. The Galaxy S7 Edge launches in blue coral, sort of, and it seems that the LG G6 will be about anything but the friends. I'm Jaime Rivera, and uh, friends are the ones you actually party with on Friday, LG, not accessories. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today with breaking news, pun intended, as uh, Google has just partnered with you break iFix for those of you that have problems with your Pixel smashing displays or whatever. So this works pretty much the same as Apple. You take there, you get a replacement apparently during the same day in just a couple of hours, and uh, it'll cost you $129 for the Google Pixel, $150 for the Pixel XL. It's too bad that this doesn't bring HTC's type of warranty, but oh well. So remember the rumors of the Coral Galaxy S7 Edge to be prepared for launch with this whole Note 7 debacle? Well, the product has just been announced. The problem is most of us aren't really in that market as apparently it's launching only in Singapore, at least right now. And there is no word as to when that unit will reach the United States, hopefully soon and hopefully not an exclusive to any carrier. Let's move the spotlight over to LG. Rumors claim that sales for LG's G5 Friends was so bad that we should not expect to see the Friends arrive with the G6. We pretty much saw it with the V20 as there is no support for them in that phone either. Apparently LG wants to go back to the drawing board in a lot of what's going to make the G6 hot. And we've already seen an LG V20 variant being launched in Japan that's water resistant. So there could be a lot of great coming here with no friend support, sadly. Let's talk about the Apple iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus. Even though Cupertino did not provide specific statistics over how much the company sold during the first weekend, which is a usual practice from Apple, but which was not followed either because of the supply constraints with the iPhone 7 Plus or because we've seen a decline in sales year over year ever since the iPhone 6S. But anyways, apparently things are good. 48% of sales account to newer iPhones, and we do know how bad it's been for the Plus variant, but we should learn more on the company's quarter results on the 25th. And finally, the very interesting news today actually have to do with Apple versus Amazon. There is a lawsuit being filed because uh, Cupertino claims that at least 90% of the chargers being sold on Amazon and wires are counterfeit. Now notice, by counterfeit, we're not talking about the products that are designed and made for iPhone that actually have the licensing, but apparently a lot of products that are supposed to be Apple genuine chargers, even sold by Amazon, are counterfeit. And this is a rather interesting development as uh, I particularly buy things mostly when they say sold by Amazon because I trust the fact that these products are not counterfeit, but it seems that there is a problem that has to be dealt with by the retailer. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be rather interesting to see what Amazon is going to do going forward, but it does lead me to the question of the day. Whenever you buy wires and chargers, do you like to buy third-party options or do you stick with the whatever the supplier provides and buy genuine products because in my case i will be honest this is one particular case where i do not buy products that are not either certified by the company or made specifically by the company because i have seen cases where phones either don't charge or the chargers don't last or now we see exploding phones leave us a comment down below we'd love to know your opinion Friends, you know the way it goes if you want to get the news earlier before the video is filmed. Follow us on BucketNow.com and hit that subscribe button down below for more videos like this one. You can also catch our videos on Vessel, Vessel.com slash PocketNow. And follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next week.